a day at the cricket, an activity that had been banned during the Taliban's previous regime. I'm really happy and grateful the Taliban has given us the opportunity to watch this game. But not a woman in sight. Despite Taliban assurances that women will be allowed to work, many beg to differ. We Afghan women have worked hard and studied, but have been removed from the cabinet. While the makeup of the Taliban's government is still not known, they say women won't be guaranteed senior positions. This burqa shop reported a 30% surge in sales since the Taliban took over. During the previous government, I wore a hijab, but now I need to buy a burqa. While this beautician shop has been ordered to have its signage painted over. For those still trying to flee, the only way out is on foot. Neighbouring countries have become magnets and borders temporary homes. We beg the Pakistani government to help poor people like us. We have no food, nothing. Here in Pakistan, the government's concerned that the country could be overwhelmed by an influx of Afghan refugees and the foreign minister is pleading for international help. And the relationship could be a reciprocal one as the West increasingly looks to Pakistan to help with evacuations. Pakistan is a, an indispensable partner in all of that. So whether it's dealing with the terrorism threat, the humanitarian lifeline and regional stability. The British Foreign Secretary is in the country to scope safe passages for the British nationals looking to get out. The UK says it's not recognising the Taliban as a government. But we do see the importance of being able to engage and have a direct line of communication. And as the militant group shifts from insurgency to governing, the Taliban is now dealing with a resistance of its own. In Panjshir, resistance fighters have been holding out in the one province yet to be captured by the Taliban. Both sides claimed victory overnight, but with domestic and international pressure, it won't be their last fight. Nick Dole, ABC News, Islamabad, Pakistan.